moved in this block, most of my neighbors were seniors. Um, very welcoming, um, very curious to who their new neighbor was going to be. My, I, I live on a, a, a little dead end street. And on my side of the street is our condo building. And the building next to us is empty. And across the street are little houses. The homes in my community have uh, primarily been passed down from family member to family member. And how I wound up uh, with the fortune of finding my home was that it was an estate sale. When I moved to D.C., the rent compared to the rent in Pittsburgh, it was just, oh my God, it was like 20% more than we were used to paying, okay? So it just seemed to make more sense if you had to pay $1,000 to rent somewhere that you could probably pay that same $1,000 and buy a home. I didn't, I didn't think about home ownership until I saw someone else. It was someone else that uh, lived in a building where I was living at the time. Uh, had came to Mount, had a place. About, you know, uh, was getting ready to move out, to move in their condo. And I couldn't understand why those folks was giving her a party. And they said, because she's moving out. I said, I'm getting ready to move out. You know, just being sarcastic. And uh, at the time, my fiance was with me. And uh, I talked about that. I, you know, this lady, you know, people move in and out the building all the time. You know, they don't give a party. So they say, we're giving her a party because she's moving out into her own home. So I. Bug, bugged the old lady out about that and talked about it and talked about it and she said, if you want to know what the lady did to get a condo, ask her. And I asked her and she put me on the road. She, she sent me to my house. I wanted to become a homeowner because I started to care about what was going on in, in the city. And I felt that one way of being able to effect a change would be to be a taxpayer whose uh, taxes were uh, paid through property taxes and that kind of thing. And it seemed like uh, people who owned homes had a louder voice in the city. And, and um, while I don't know if that's actually true, I just felt like it was, uh, it was a dream of mine. Whenever it's anything that's pertaining to manna, I make time, I make room because they gave to me. And that was one of the things, you know, that they taught a familyness, a, a, um, a togetherness, you know, on top of the basics, you know, how to do your credit and, you know, how to pay your bills and things like that. It was always a familyness around the whole MANA organization, the staff, you know, management, the uh, Home Buyers Club. I think that's why it's been so successful because it is like a family, you know, on top of the you know, the teaching of the bookness of it, you know, it was always a family and I was very, very appreciative and I carry that on with me forever. I want you to know, I want you to know the good things that happen to people because it ain't always bad stuff that happens to people. Good things happen to people too. And I'm here to share that with you, you know, because I like this. I can't explain it. You, the, there is a pride, not that, not the, um, other kind of pride, but just a, a, a proud thing based on all that we as a people have gone through and experienced together to be able to now come into a place to be able to own. Um, it, it's a good thing. It's definitely a good thing. Hello. Well, you are off on a journey, and some have already made the journey, <laughs> <laughs> to become homeowners. And it is sometimes a bumpy road, sometimes it's not but it is a very rewarding road. And I'm the person that you see at the end of the road. Mm -hmm. You've gone through looking for the real estate agent and the home. You've gone through the ups and downs of trying to find just the right home that you like, that fits you. And then finally you've negotiated the contract, you've signed everything, and you've decided, okay, this is the place. You've gotten your loan, everything's clear. You've gotten that A1 credit rating and you are ready to buy your home. 
Now the lender's taking you through the ups and downs, give me this piece of paper. Oh, I didn't get that piece of paper, but I sent it to Mary, but I didn't get it, and I'm Alice, so please send me the piece of paper. So it's the back and forth, and it's all right. You carry your bag and papers around with you forever. And then finally, everybody's ready. The seller's ready, the lender's ready, and you have been ready. And then you come to the table.